Now, one of the most famous music icons of India, the veteran film singer S.P. Bala Subramanyam, often known as SPB, has died in Chennai at the age of 74. Now, he was admitted to hospital in early August after testing positive for the coronavirus. Seen as legendary in South Indian cinema, he's recorded more than 40,000 songs in a career spanning 50 years, performing in more than a dozen languages. Well, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi has paid his tributes to the singer on Twitter. He said India's cultural world is a lot poorer with the loss of SPB, a household name across India. His melodious voice and music enthralled audiences for decades. Let's talk to Ashanti Omkar from the BBC Asian Network who has a special show on South Indian music and she's visited the singer as well as interviewed him. And uh, just tell us, Ashanti, I mean, he is an absolute legend. He was prolific with his recording of songs. Just tell us what this means to India. I, I I totally echo what the, the, the PM, the Prime Minister, said because this co was completely devastating news to wake up to. He had been critical, but at one point in August, we saw a video of him from hospital saying, I will get better, I'll be back. And I've been keeping in touch with his son, and everybody has been praying. My all, my all my socials have completely blown up with people's tributes to him, music directors, record labels, everybody is mourning his, his passing. Although he has given us so much music, we, we knew there was so much more to him that he could have given us. And this is what's made us really sad because from day one, he had this certain dulcet tone to his voice, this emotion that he brought that completely grabbed us and it never left him. Even very recently, he recorded with Ilaraja, the legend of India. They were great friends. In, in he, he actually recorded a song which completely touched my heart to revisit it today because it was for the, the, the warriors of, of COVID and of the pandemic. It was a song as a tribute to all those people who are helping people get over this pandemic. And to see that this has taken him has completely devastated all of us. Ashanti, you had the privilege to meet the man himself. What, is, what was he like to talk to? Oh my gosh, 